Hi guys, Sean here from SP. Today, here with Jamie Smith, executive chef at the Abode Hotels. He's going to be showing us a very simple mince dish that we can all cook at home. Hi guys, I'm going to cook a quick mince dish. So, to begin with, get your pan on the heat, put my coconut oil in, and let that warm up with the pan. So, the mince I'm going to be using is a turkey mince. So throw that in the pan next. And just move that round with the coconut oil. The reason I'm using a turkey mince is one because it's a lot leaner. So if you want to do a quick mince dish, there's not much fat you need to, or well, there's no fat you need to render down. So it's not gonna be uh, as tough as maybe lamb mince or beef mince. So I'll spread that across the pan. Get start cooking and I want that on a medium heat. Now I'm going to start adding some uh, aromats and some uh, vegetables. So when I'm creating a meal or cooking a meal at home, I always try and uh, cut and prepare all my vegetables first before I do any raw meat or fish, just so I can use the same board and knife and uh, not have to clean in between. But with this dish anyway, there's no raw meat I need to prep because it's already uh, minced. I like to add my vegetable in with the meat at the beginning just so I can get a bit of colour on the vegetable as well, a bit of brownness, get those uh, natural sugars from the veg coming to the surface. Good way of breaking up the mince is uh, either to use a potato masher or a whisk. I'm going to add a bit of uh, turmeric to this dish. One for its many health benefits and two, I'm going to make like a, a satay style kind of dish. You want to add your spices uh, near the beginning to cook them out, and release those flavours. I'm not going to chop the lemongrass, I'm just going to break it up to release those natural oils and uh, infuse the dish. I'm going to keep it as whole as possible so it's easy to pick out, so it's not nice to eat. So get a heavy object, bash it up to release all those uh, strands, throw that in. Now I'm going to add some uh, garlic. So. Like I mentioned before, the microplane. So I'm just basically going to grate the garlic on the microplane. And it creates like a little puree on the other side. And just slide that off. And if at any time your food starts to stick to the bottom of the pan, you can do a thing what's called deglazing. So all I'm going to do now is just add a bit of water from the top, not too much. Use a tiny bit of water, not too much. And then that should take all the sediment off the bottom of the pan and then add those nice caramel notes to the dish. And then just let that water evaporate again. So like the garlic, I'm now going to grate some uh, ginger using the microplane. I've got some uh, pak choy or bok choy as we're going down the Asian route. I thought I'd throw a bit of that in. So I'm just going to separate the leaves and then slice them up. Throw 
throw that in. Now I'm going to add a bit of soy sauce to my satay, one for a bit of seasoning, two for a bit of flavour. Good quality peanut butter, as everybody at the gym loves peanut butter. So now I'm going to complete the sauce by using a bit of a coconut milk. And at this stage, so it's a one pot jobby, which makes it a bit quicker, I'm going to add some uh, rice noodles for our carb sauce. Cheeky. At this stage I'm going to remove the lemongrass. And to add a bit of heat and flavour, I'm adding some chopped coriander and some, depending on how hot you like it, some sliced red chilies. And then give it one last stir. And then present it on your fancy plate.